All right, that smell. I'm gonna take this into uh, bite-sized nuggets here. Um, this one, I'm just gonna talk about the, the rhythm tracks. Um, uh, there's a lot I've got to say about it. Um, I don't know when I started hybrid picking, but I do a lot of that in this song. You don't have to. I mean, um, I, I have no idea if Steve Gaines or, you know, I'm sure all of them may be hybrid picked. I, I don't know. It doesn't matter. Just, uh, um, but I personally, if you saw the performance video, you probably noticed that I do a lot of the, a lot of the, uh, a lot of the double stop hybrid picking with my fingers. You don't have to do that. I can, I can do it with a pick as well. If I think about it, I can do everything with my pick, but it's just, I've, I've just gotten to do it like this over the years. So it doesn't matter. Don't stress over, it has to be exactly the same way that somebody else played it. Nothing really does. I mean, you know, um, uh, as far as the notes go, some of the notes may, may be in a slightly different place or, or whatever. I, I'm, I'm, I get really nitpicky with this stuff, but, you know, uh, the idea is to have fun with it. And um, I, I don't want to um, declare anything as being the only way to do something ever. So anyway, with that said, um, let's get into this and I'll start from the head here. I'm just going to kind of roll through it, um, through the rhythm parts. And um, the beginning starts with a, a, a um, bar chord on the fifth fret with a slide down. Slides down to the F. That's that's the uh, G and the C. I'm only hitting those two notes. Slide down into the F. Before I hit record, I had to go, what the heck am I doing there? Because I never really think about it. Um, I'm kind of muting down here. And I'm double stopping that, but I can do it with a pick. That's a D and a G open. I do it with my fingers. I'm really not bothering with the low notes. And you can hear on the recording, uh, there, there are a lot of the low notes, but there again, playing it live and playing in a recording studio, um, some things live don't make sense. Um, so I'm, I'm gonna kind of stay away from the low notes because it can get muddy. Um, and I'm gonna let the bass carry that. And I'm gonna try to keep a cleaner line between the frequencies, if that makes sense, because live it sounds better. So I'm not focusing as much as on the, on those notes as I am the. And now back to that. slide into it like that. Uh, on the kicks there, it's not until the chorus, but I thought I'd go ahead and mention it. Um, 
you're gonna hear different guitars doing different things. And there again, you have to kind of prioritize live how many guitars you have, what you're gonna do. But the kick could be there, it could be, it could be. Uh, Jerry does the higher part um, when we're doing it live and he's got kind of a heavier gain and he'll hold that over. Anyway, um, too much smoke, look what's going on inside you. I mean, you hit the A there. So the, in the chorus, you're gonna get that. It's every other time. The first time does not bounce to the G, the second time does, and the fourth time does. So it's. Oh, that smell. Can't you smell? Smell it. And then the first solo comes and the rhythm parts are gonna be different. Um, and those rhythm parts alternate by the solos. So, uh, to the verse brings it down make sure to play it with dynamics because when you get to the verses the singer comes in the guitars lay low so give it some uh, give the singer room to breathe and give the song room to breathe uh, and that verse has a little um, um, a little chorus interlude that I do. If you saw the performance thing, you saw me go into it. I've got my Kemper here with, uh, with my performance and all the programs in that performance. <clears throat> and the first one is the, uh, the clean rhythm. And then it goes to the, uh, so, um, gonna hold that over while the rest of the band goes to the F because it sounds kind of cool uh, and it gives it that um, um, F major 7 kind of overlap there don't have to do that if you don't have a chorus or whatever just uh to the F major seven. The, uh, if you got two guitars, you'll probably want one of them just doing the uh, F major seven to A minor. And then the chorus guitar probably wants to go high, the F major seven, same chord. That's, um, you could use that uh, at the head of the song too where it kicks in that uh And 
that goes to the next solo. Ba -da -da. It kind of gives it that, okay, it's moving a little quicker now. It's, it's uh, gaining momentum is the kind of feel that's giving. So, um, and that leads into the lick. And uh, we play it as a band. The, the bass plays it on the recording. And we all jump in on this lick, which is the same lick that the lead guitar does, which is the... So it goes... Uh... So... I'm just playing two notes. Only two notes. C to G. B flat to F. that while the other guitar does a solo thing. Build. Let's see. I think that's how it goes. That goes back to the first solo pattern. So it's just... That's A minor. That's a... Uh, it's a very tight, controlled A minor. It's kind of percussive if you notice the way I'm playing it. It's uh, I'm bouncing between the uh, root. And I'm, I'm making that pretty slinky slide there. I am playing those, that one and five. And then I'll bounce to the rest of the chord. At the end of the solo. Let's see. I think there's a walk down there. And back to the, bring it down. Kind of bouncing that A. The other guitar comes in. That's kind of a to the A to the uh, open A to the F major seven. It's just one little thing in there. keeps bouncing through all the double solos at the end, um, all the switches, which I'll go over in the next video. <clears throat>
but then uh, uh, it keeps vamping through that until you get to the end, which is the same as the other lick. So then back to the. how I end it. Uh... I want to get uh, it a little higher register and I think uh, I think maybe Jerry does it down here. It's good to split up at your guitars and not do the exact same thing unless the song calls for it. So maybe one guitar goes. I'm gonna hit the A minor here. And I don't have a live speaker here, but when we do, or we have monitors, then we'll throw the guitar in there and uh, get a little feedback action. But um, that's basically the rhythm in a nutshell. Um, sounds so much fun to play. And um, again, thanks for watching my videos. I really appreciate all the messages and all your support. And uh, appreciate all my subscribers and uh, hope to get more. So. Uh, Let's move on to the solos.